Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the third episode of this Road to Beast Mode series and today we're starting um, we have signing uh, two new players um, I thought it was nice to, to put some new players in, in the team and the first player we're searching for is Quagliarella and he is a striker from Italy for, for Juventus and I see him here for 650 coins which is a complete bargain for an 80 rated player and the reason I'm buying him uh, is because he got a hell of a long shot and that's why I'm playing him in the center forward position he only got 74 pace I think but that's why we put him in the center forward position because there he doesn't really need the, sh the, the shit load of pace but his long shot will keep it done there so the next player we're searching for is another Italian player who is playing for Torino and I think you guys will know him his name is Gabriel Ocbona and this guy is such a tank with 80 pace and let's see 81 defending and 82 heading really is insane how good he is he is so overpowered it's I, d I really don't know why this is uh, why he hasn't got a shiny cop, but he is like Chiellini, but then lower rated. But he plays like the same. So we bought him two, and we got 100 coins left. So we're out of money, and let's have a look at our team really quickly, and let's see. So we got the four Italian players from Serie A and as they are of course all Italian they give each other a nice nice uh, chemistry so we get up quite nice uh, according to chemistry we're on 61 right now and we co just converted Quagliarella to a center forward position um, I had already bought the card but um, yeah we bought him as a striker because that was way cheaper and he his value will increase now that he has a center forward so position so with those four gold players I don't want to risk it to go and play online because with Thor four gold players you will come up against gold squads and I'm never going to win that with just those players so I'm going to do a cup and, um, and the first match that we are going to play is against Wolfsburg and yeah, I knew Wolfsburg was a was a team that was way better than me, but I thought like I could do it um, with those gold players, with the likes of me, of course, Mikkeli and Quagliarella with their great shots. So, um, yeah, that's be that is one of the things I basically want to talk about uh, today is is long shots, and sometimes it can be so effective, especially in ultimate team, because I, like so so many like every player can shoot on ultimate team and that that's what is quite cool but sometimes it's really annoying because every player can shoot so overpowered and uh, every player shot is so overpowered that um that yeah sometimes you get get like goals that are bullshit and keepers just cannot save it and that's sometimes really annoying but sometimes it comes in very very handy when you get a uh, when you can do the great uh, uh, kind of great shots and yes I unfortunately didn't score any today um, with one of my players um, for example Mikkeli and Quagliarella are quite quite good at that but um, yeah long shots can can really save games and I'm I'm more like always doing long shots when when you just can't get through Sometimes your your players just play so badly and you don't know why it is and you don't know what it is but then it ju they, they just do not get through and occasionally that happens I think to everyone so yeah I think long shots can really save you then if if you just cannot get through and 
that that's why I always like to have people with long shots in the midfield um, or in the in this formation that I'm playing 4-3-1-2 uh, in the center forward position because uh, yeah when you don't do not get through you can unleash a deadly shot and yeah you, the, the, it really can win matches for you so I really advise you guys to always get someone in your midfield who has a great shot on him because yeah that that comes in so handy sometimes and in the first match I played I tried some long shots in the second match too but um, yeah they, they I hit the crossbar like three four times so that, that was quite annoying and I really hate it when you do a good long shot and it hits it's the bar but um, anyway we won the first match 2 to 0 and we're up against Arsenal and I knew it was going to be a really really hard match because Arsenal has of course Podolski, Walker, Oxley, Chamberlain and all that kind of stuff so I knew it was going to be really hard to to stop them with my defense because my defense is not too quick only Ogbonna is really a guy who is quite quick but here a, g a good shot from Quagliarella and this is why I have him this is the only example I have in today's video of some kind of a long shot but yeah it's just one touch one shot and yeah great shot he ha he really has a great shot Quagliarella and his shot is already is already very good already saw it in two matches on his normal card and what can his inform do then I'm, I'm really I really wanted to know what, uh, how good his in-form cards uh, long shot will be and I think it will be really insane it's like 98 long shots and it's like I, I was just like searching for a player with a long shot and then I came up to I was also searching it on YouTube and then I saw a guy I don't know on which channel I saw it but some guy he put a video on of the top 10 best long shots and I was watching it and yeah it was just like the best the best uh, the number two on best long shots was Quagliarella and I was really surprised like how the hell can he have such a good long shot I didn't know and the best player was someone from Hoffenheim I think some random East European guy thought it was but yeah I was like Quagliarella how can he have such a good long shot and I thought he was perfect um, for a center forward role for a cam role because he has quite a good passing and yeah with his great shot and that was just a perfect position because he you can also play him as a striker because he is of course a striker um, naturally but yeah that I don't really like it because he is kind of slow F uh, yeah anyway some people would uh, I know some people would like it but um, I'm kind of a pace off sometimes when it comes to to the real attackers because I like to play with through balls and when players ju are just too slow to reach it I'm out it's really annoying I personally think but anyway uh, the game ended 3-3 and we got up to penalties really bad that I, I was diving with the keeper but anyway it's 2-1 uh, Podolski missed the penalty for Arsenal so I was I was now two goals up after this uh, nice goal by Quagliarella and unfortunately Santa Cazola gets one back here but yeah the, I was really kind of scared for the penalties uh, I was really hoping that I was not going to lose because there are only like three players in my team Mikali, Quagliarella and De Rossi who can take a penalty and the rest is all bronze and all shit so yeah Ogbonna he is gold but he he is not a penalty taken here the computer missed his second uh, his second penalty so I won the game and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This were the first two games of this Gold Cup. And next time we'll play the next few 
matches in the cup and we we'll hope we'll win the cup and I promise you after that we'll go to the fishing games so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like uh, and check out our channel and if you like our channel please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye